Hi there, Dominic here with a short introduction to the tube primitive. Click down a number of control points in the viewport and Modo will create a tube based on a spline curve. Let's see this in action. I'm going to undo what I did here. Over here you can right click and choose tube and all you have to do is click in the viewport and a series of control points will be created. While you're in add mode you can also edit the position by hovering over the little square, clicking and dragging. The modes are add, edit, only lets you edit but not add, and delete of course lets you delete a point. I'm going to back to add mode and then I can again add points. If I choose this control point and I click here another one will be created between those two. The number of sides controls how many sides, of course, the tube will have. Now it has only three sides. When I said it's 24, it has 24 sides. It's a bit much. 12 will do. The number of segments is a number does it say in the manual, is the number of polygons between each control point. So I have a control point here and a control point there and this is the number of segments in between. When I set it to 5, which is very low, then I have set a profile here, then the profile will not have much effect. 13, not a lot. 20, not a lot. 50 may be better. Okay. The radius controls the radius of the tube, pretty straightforward. By length will create uniform profiles, well, uniform sections. So if I uncheck this, you'll see that now the, num the control points control the curve by a length. In the manual it says tube sections will have equal length across the curve. With caps on, the beginning and the end will be capped. Off, it will be a hollow. Closed will make a loop. Make UVs or not. The scale controls the size of the profile applied to the tube primitive. When you see this in action, you will see that you can go from 0 to 1. I have repeat on and reverse inset on. When you, when you don't repeat, it shifts the profile completely along the curve. When you repeat it, it will be repeated along each control point. When I reverse inset, then parts that were thick will become thin and vice versa. And when I reverse the direction, the whole curve will be reversed. So a short introduction to the tube primitive in modo. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.